Well, everyone, oh my. This one is, this could be handled horribly. Only, only the Dallas Cowboys can have, at the same time, dueling paternity and sexual assault cases at the very same time against not just the biggest stars of the organization, but two of the biggest stars in all of football. The owner and general manager is in the middle of a paternity suit that's been dragging on for some time. The face of the franchise is facing a civil suit now over a sexual assault in 2017, and it is now making news on every site. So the NFL, here's why I want you to look at this. The NFL, the Dallas Cowboys, and Dak Prescott are about to be put to a very serious public test. It's already started. And... I want to be clear. I mean, this we're going to talk about how the three of them handle this now. One of them, I predict, could really screw it up publicly. Please be clear about this. At no point am I dismissing the seriousness of the claim. To his credit, so far, neither has Dak Prescott and his legal team. And for now, just so you know, all we know is this is a public test for all three. View it as a public test for all three. It's a civil case. It is not a criminal case. And we don't know how it will play out. But all we do know is how are all three going to handle this now? Uh, one of the NFL's biggest stars and most likable guys who is the face of the franchise and the NFL wish they could clone Dak Prescott and have a bunch of guys like that. They'd have far fewer problems. But he's now been accused of sexual assault. There is, there's not a team that is more high profile than the Cowboys and Dak Prescott would be easily among the 10 most high, fro- high profile players in the NFL. I didn't say the best, I said high pro- most high profile just so you know, the NFL template over the past few years has been to suspend a player almost immediately. It's kind of been their default position is, when in doubt, just get them out of here now. Now, they don't kick them out of the league for good, but they just try to get it out of the news cycle as fast as possible and then sort it out. The NFL, just so you know some history here, how the NFL had to reinvent itself, how it handles cases involving sex crimes or accusations of sex crimes, you go back to, you know, the NFL completely mishandled the horrific beating by Ray Rice of his then fiance. He knocked her out, knocked her down in an elevator. It was caught on video. The NFL just wasn't ready for it. The NFL completely mishandled it, took a lot of heat. And from that moment on, they decided to put a different face to abuse cases. And they went and hired a prosecutor who has a long track record of prosecuting sex crimes. They put her face to all this stuff. Um, Now, you can again, the NFL is going to be under a microscope on this, too. They've already handled this a little bit differently than they usually do, and I think partly because it is Dak Prescott. But just understand, the, the default position is usually suspend, figure it out. So there's a lot to this. There's a lot. There's a real public test. What will the NFL do? What will the Cowboys do and say? Watch that one. Watch that one. That has the risk of going completely sideways. What will the face of the franchise do and say? Will all three get it right? I'm talking about publicly. Okay, this is not a criminal case. I'm just talking about how this is handled publicly. Um, Here's the accusation first. And then um, I will say this up front already. If you didn't do what you're accused of doing, and I don't know that answer yet. I don't know. But if you didn't do what you're accused of doing, this is the best way to go about handling it publicly so far. I will say that. That doesn't mean he's guilty or innocent, but he is pushing back the right way, quickly and efficiently and assertively. 
what will the NFL and the Cowboys organization, you know who that is. You know who might screw this up. I will give you a hint right now. He's old and he has a plastic face, and he could dump this thing into a dumpster. ESPN is reporting now Dallas police confirmed that they're investigating alleged 2017 sexual assault involving Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott. The investigation is a result of a complaint filed by a woman who alleges Prescott assaulted her in the back of an SUV seven years ago. Prescott, on Monday, they beat this to the news, just so you know. They were actually ahead of this in the news cycle. Dak Prescott filed a lawsuit in Collin County claiming he is being extorted for $100 million by the woman and her attorneys. Separately, police in Prosper, Texas, that's where he lives, are now investigating his extortion claim. Now, follow this. This is his attorney, Levi McCathrin. What a name. Question the timing of the women of the woman going to police seven years after the alleged assault took place and after the extortion investigation began this week. He says, telling ESPN, clearly they think this will somehow mitigate their criminal responsibility for attempting this illegal shakedown. It won't. And it's a true disservice to the real survivors of sexual abuse. We look forward to working with law enforcement and reaching a just conclusion in this case. Dak Prescott is countersuing her for a million dollars. Now, again, I told you to watch how each of these entities handle this publicly. First thing his team is doing, smart. Didn't say he's not, didn't say he's innocent. I didn't say he was guilty. I'm just saying this is a civil case and how it's handled publicly matters a lot. He's suing her for a million dollars and will donate any of the relief to the Joyful Heart Foundation, whose mission is to heal, educate, and empower survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence. Okay? Uh, I would give his team an A-plus on handling this publicly so far. Will his boss do the same? Look out. Watch out. Uh, 11 page lawsuit alleges defamation and slander, defamation per se, business di- disparagement, tortious interference with current and or prospective business relations, civil conspiracy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. That's his countersuit. He's not messing around. Like I said, if you were accused of this and you didn't do it, that's exactly what you would do right away. He got a letter from her attorneys. Um, They're seeking damages, are you ready for it, of $100 million. Yep. Here's what her claim is. Despite the tragic event, she is willing to forego pursuing criminal charges along with disclosing this information to the public in exchange for compensating her for the mental anguish she has suffered. Her damages are valued at the sum of $100 million. Okay, do with that whatever you want. Okay. Uh, Then his attorney quickly didn't let that go. This is all happening in about a 48-hour period. Uh, He now says, the attorney for Dak Prescott, Mr. Prescott, the father of a new baby girl, has great empathy for survivors of sexual assault. He believes that all perpetrators of such crimes should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. To be clear, Mr. Prescott has never engaged in any non-consensual sexual conduct with anyone. Lies hurt, especially malicious lies. Okay, Um, he has acknowledged that he was with her. This goes back to 2017. I believe that she worked at a strip club. All right, now, um, well, let's break down all three and how it's going to be handled. I think two of them have it figured out. I don't think one of them does it all. The NFL, how will the NFL handle this? Um, It's the offseason, so the NFL gets a little bit of a break. Typically, they'll pressure the team to suspend the player almost immediately. Um, The NFL, so you know, has a former prosecutor on staff whose job is to investigate alleged sex crimes. I'll bet she's already been involved in this and advised the league. The league has screwed up too many of these, and this is a smart person. i got to believe that she's already been involved. 
Will the NFL give Dak Prescott more leeway than other players? Will he get the benefit of the doubt? Actually, yes. Yeah. I think so. partly because it's the off season. I think this we're in season. This might sound and look a little differently on the front end. And don't don't do this thing. Don't start. Hey, Jeff, that's not right. I mean, he's not proven. He's not guilty of anything. You don't have a right to a job. Okay, it's a civil case. His employer, including the league, can do what they want. The commissioner, just so you know, the Players Association has given the commissioner total judge, jury, and executioner on all these cases. The, the commissioner could step in tomorrow and say, you're out. He's not. And I do think part of that is because, one, i got to believe they've already been involved. Two, it's Dak Prescott. They like him. They do. There's no bad history here. The dude is the model citizen, man. He is. They want no part of this. This is one of their good guys now is getting accused of something, and they hate it. So he's, he's one of the faces of the league, and the NFL hates this. On the front end, I think he's been given the benefit of the doubt already. I do. Um, how will Dak Prescott and his legal team handle it? You've already got an idea. They're not messing around. He's not said a word. They have. Um, maybe did this. I don't know. Um, doesn't sound like it. Sounds pretty sketchy. But maybe he did do it. But but here's one thing about taxpayers. I remember going arguing with people during the Deshaun Watson accusation. Civil cases. Let me just say this. This is where we get lost. I think in our own morality. Don't be don't be screaming at the NFL. Screaming at your prosecutors who work for you to prosecute crimes. And if you want to get mad at anybody, then get mad at your local prosecutor. That's who works for you. So forget the NFL. Forget the Cowboys. If he or anyone else is guilty of sexual assault, our conversation should not be about the NFL. Our conversation should not be about the Cowboys. It should be about the person that works for you, the taxpayer. That's a prosecutor. That's who we should say, if this happened, you better get on it. And that, that rarely was mentioned in the Deshaun Watson cases, and I haven't heard it mentioned yet. Now, maybe it's not necessary. Again, I think this sounds kind of sketchy, but that's where your anger should be directed if you think the guy's getting a pass. But it's a civil case. Civil case. And I think his legal team has handled it so far perfectly. They've pushed back. They've turned around and countersued. Countersued in the process said, we'll donate all the money to, uh, to a shelter. They met it head on. Right away, too. In fact, they actually got in front of it. So he's been respectful. They've been respectful. And they countersued. Um, follow what the team is doing, though. This is where I think this thing gets interesting in a hurry because... The NFL will lay low and be prudent. Dak Prescott's team will be very prudent. Can anyone in their right mind say the owner of the Dallas Cowboys is pragmatic and prudent? Really? You think he can handle this publicly? You think this is going to go well? The last thing this entire story needs is Jerry Jones. Like, There's no one more ill-equipped to handle this than that old man who's currently facing a paternity suit himself. So guess what Dallas has done already? And I don't know how long they can keep this up. I mean, this, this is partly why I think that the Dak Prescott team, and I think if, look, if somebody wrongly accused of this, you of this and you had the legal means to do it, you would turn around and say, that's, you know, that's extortion. I'll come after you. So I think part of their speed and their... Their uh, aggressiveness is, I think they want to get this out of here before the old man starts blabbing away. I think the NFL wants this thing resolved before the old man starts blabbing away. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know who at the Cowboys organization can say, old man, please, please don't talk for once. Don't go near this. We don't need you right now. Go have some soup. Feed the squirrels. Get out of here, man, because you're the last dude who needs to be talking about this. I don't think any of the entities involved right now need him talking. I'm not saying he's a terrible human being. I'm just saying I think history indicates that he just doesn't put sentences together too well. So they've trotted out his son. 
which I think is really interesting and honestly a smart move. I don't know how long they can keep that up. Because when the old man shows up at the office and a reporter says, the face of your franchise has been accused of sexual assault, speak now, he is going to turn that into a dumpster fire. So the Cowboys, I don't know of a team in the NFL that you could probably lay money that they would be more likely to mishandle something like this publicly than the Dallas Cowboys. Like, it's just, they're the worst team for this. He's the worst guy for this. So the Cowboys already, maybe because the old man is facing his own issues, um, Jerry is not the face of this so far, nor should he be. Um, I would love to hear the conversations on how exactly they're meeting this publicly, because guess what? They're in the middle of a contract negotiation with a guy who's just been accused of sexual assault. What are you going to do there? What if he did do it? You know what the NFL is going to do? They're going to suspend him. They will. I'm telling you, this is serious stuff. And it, and it requires a serious, measured response publicly. Does anyone listening right now think serious and measured a qual- qualifies Jerry Jones? That man doesn't have a me- anything measurement in him. So, so far, I think they've handled it right. Here's what handling it right means. Stephen Jones is talking. This is what he says. Asked about the allegations against Prescott. Cowboys Executive Vice President Stephen Jones said the case will not impact current contract talks with the quarterback. Okay. He went on to say, notice how short his sentences are compared to his dad. His dad will ramble aimlessly and that won't end well. He says, quote, while we visited with Dak about the allegations, and it's certainly a legal matter, so it's something we will not comment on. Um, I don't know. I mean, think what you want about the accusations. Think about, like I said, I mean, all you know right now is it's a public test for everyone. Dak Prescott's legal team, her legal team, the NFL, and the Cowboys themselves. They're all going to be put to a public test and... I think so far, everyone's doing probably the best they can. There's only one outlier that can muck the whole thing up. And I'll give you a hint. He's really, really old. 